Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for DweeboVision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. It's my opponent to go first. I have six vowels, which isn't good. But if I can play off four of them, it may be worthwhile playing through this rather than changing. And I note that I have a Jew on my rack, which would leave OA. And I think that is better than changing. What else is available? I could play U OI, keeping the D, but that's then keeping duplicate A. So I think this is best. Not a great rack leave. 14 points. Great! I draw the blank. I've got Eco Targe, which plays in rows G and I. Eco Targe overlapping a Jew in four spots in row G. I've probably got other available bingos. A Jew takes an S and an X at the end. Can't see a way of using either of those hooks. Now, do I have anything in column 8 beginning or ending in A? Unlikely, because that would be five vowels, including duplicate A and duplicate E. No, I don't think there's one through that. The other important column is column 11, where I've got a double-double lane. That would be through the E. And I can't see anything there. Wow, good start for my opponent. Double-double with under-eat. Now, my multiple overlap for eco targe is gone, but I've still got available a single overlap in row G and a double overlap in row I, making ag and D. Can I do anything better than that? I've got the T of under-eat. Well, I could play eco targes through that. But do I have anything else? It would be quite nice to play through that, because then the word would get doubled. Let me just see what I can see. Imagining a T on my rack. Nearly cabotage. Haven't seen anything yet. So I'm looking for this with a T. Still not seen anything. That looks promising, but I can't see anything. That's ecotages. Okay. So, do I play ecotages in row L or ecotage in row I? Well, I think I'll play the row I spot. I don't really want to put an S in column 15. It makes it far too easy for my opponent to play a triple word square word. So this is 69. And I think it would be 72 playing in row L, so not much score difference. That's pretty good. 
It looks close to a bingo, but with three high-scoring tiles, I may not have one. It would be difficult to... It would be a low-probability word, should it exist. Quite a few floaters to consider in Ecotarge and Undereat. Well, I'm not seeing a bingo. But I note that my Y can go next to the E of Undereat as a triple letter square. I also need to consider column 5 as a double-double lane. Can't see anything there. I've got cookery through an O, but that's not a double-double. If I played Yock, then the rack leave of A, C, E, R is quite good. It would be quite easy to wreck this rack leave with croaky or creaky, but since I have the, the option of retaining four bingoey tiles, I ought to see if I can achieve that. And I can play Yock beside Undereat. That stays available. Couple more floaters to consider. Can't see anything through them. So, where can I play off the yok or something similar? Nothing goes after the U of Guano. So, w what I'm considering is yok down here. Slightly open because yok takes an E after it. 29 points is a good score. I guess if my opponent does put an E after York, he is opening up row O. But have I overlooked a better spot for the Y? Twenty nine points is a good score. Yeah, I think I will go with this. Great, I have SAR code, although I have a slight doubt about that, which I shouldn't have because this is very high probability. Red codes through a T, I've just blocked. SAR code, what am I confusing that with? Something about it doesn't seem quite right. But this is a great set of tiles. Through a G I would have cordages, but the G of guano doesn't work. Now, what about the N of Undereat? Surely something through that. Endosark and Draconis. Neither of which goes. I really don't like Sarcode. But I feel that there is a bingo here. Wow, that's the worst possible result for me, having provided that e-hook for Yock. Great bingo by my opponent, 85 points. He's now a bingo ahead. And I'm in the position of having a great spot for Sarcode in row O, but I'm just not sure of the word. So do I try it? I'm fairly sure there is a bingo here. I've got 15 minutes left. Do I have anything through the A of Taverna? SAR code. Just doesn't look right. Through an R, I would have Carados. Mm, 
Well, this is an agonising position to be in. I'm fairly sure that, well, I think there's a bingo here. I think it may be SAR code. What do I know about my opponent? Let me see what his details are. Number of unfinished games high. That's not good, but no other information about him. SAR code. Well, I'm going to consider each of these tiles in turn as the beginning letter of a bingo. That sometimes jogs one's memory. Nothing yet. Well, I think I might try it, and I think I might regret this. I'm not going to try it. It's rubbish. Sarko isn't good. Now, what are ah, carousd? Carousd. Yes, a few. And that can play in row F or in row E. Row F places a C here. I don't need to, to do that. I don't think there's going to be very much between the scores. No, I think I will play it here because row O is such a hot row I think I'd like to open up a second hot row this is blowing the board wide open which is good since I'm behind carousd 65 pretty awful I've got the X for going after a Jew but I haven't got a six-letter word ending in X, so that's not such a great hook for me. Now I can play fix in row O, making tie and X. That's pretty good. Can't see a way of using the C in column one. I could play Wax in column 15, but that's keeping one of the eyes. Sorry, that's keeping both eyes, and I want to play off one of them. I'd quite like to play Fix. Well, I'd quite like to play either the F or the W with the X to try and make my rack as bingo-y as possible, as quick as possible. But I can't see a way of playing the W with the I and the X, which is why I'm tending towards finding somewhere for fix. And at the moment, row O underneath Taverna is the best spot for that. And I haven't found an alternative. Column 10, fix and zoo doesn't score very much. I don't have to play off the X this go because this rack is so far from a bingo. If I could play off WIF, that might be worth considering. So, wifey would be one possibility, which nearly plays in row J, but doesn't because AGI isn't good. I could play it in column seven, but for not much. Great fix here stays available. Excellent. 36 points for my opponent, so he's continuing to score well but 50 points for me. Wow, all these high-scoring tiles and only one vowel. I can play crimpy in column one if that stays available. Now, if that gets taken, Crimpy would leave WF, so it's not a fabulous move, but it will probably score quite well. I'm looking to see if I can place my Y next to the K of Yoke, because that would score well. So if I had a word beginning PYR, 
W-Y-R. Worm isn't good with a Y. Well, that doesn't quite work. F-Y is good. And F-Y plays in column 10 parallel to under eat, making fee and yay. That's going to be a pretty good score. I don't think I can sort this rack out in one, and my eyes, my solitary vowel, has value. Now, just looking at my rack and my rack alone, I have wimpy, and that plays in column 12, making up and nigh. Now, that would be very close to sorting my rack out in one go, because the rack leave would be just FR. So at the moment, Wimpy is looking good. And that will be about 39 points. So I'm hoping my opponent will be drawn to the Sea of Carused. But given the time that he spent over this move, he may have a blank. And he may be close to a bingo. And if it goes through the sea, it could score a lot. My lead at the moment, just 8 points. The openness of the board has been closed up somewhat by the fixed play because TI takes nothing in front. So if my opponent plays through the Sea of Cruz and I play Wimpy, the board will start to close up. Well, he does. He scores 48 points. It could have been worse if he'd bingoed. This is what I'm thinking of doing. Great that it gets or gets rid of four of my high-scoring tiles. 39 points is a good score. And I think this is better than playing FY, keeping WMP. Okay. Well, not a great rack. But I can certainly sort this out in one. I've got the uh, F for score. I'm looking in column 2 to see if I can place my F next to the I of Cheviot, especially with a 5 letter play. But I don't quite have a play which works as a 5 letter one, which is a shame, that would be a 50 pointer. And the E of under eat is no longer Available apart from just as a two-letter play, which is not good. Or well, not what I'm looking for. Now I'm looking in column eight to see if I've got a six-letter play ending on the D. Can't see one. Just one point separating us in score. But my opponent's on turn, so he has the advantage. Now K also takes an I next to it. I have a lot of I's. Wow. Bingo for my opponent. That's come at a bad time for me. I certainly can't respond in, time, in kind. What I can do though is play Lee F, which is good, because it leaves me with the best possible rack leave and it scores a decent amount. And although it's taking out a bingo lane in row B, it's creating one, albeit not such a good one in row A. So I think this is the best I can do. Great, I draw the final blank. I'm 50 points behind, or 42 points behind. Legation takes an S after it. So, do I have a blank Ah, I have Surring. Fantastic. Surring at the moment and Legations in column 15 and Surring and Cheviots. Fantastic. I think I'm just going to get this down because I don't think that there is a, a, better, bing, a better bingo available. This is a stroke of good fortune. Or feels like a stroke of good fortune given how unbingo my previous immediately preceding racks were. Serring 81 points. And pretty good pickup. 
I have Eno Phil, which plays at A1, which would be a fabulous back-to-back -back bingo. I don't think I have a bingo anywhere else. I'm now just 17 points behind, so Eno Phil's going to be pretty critical if it stays available. Hopefully that L doesn't look particularly scary to my opponent. And the eye of Cheviot next to the triple letter square is quite an attractive spot. So hopefully he may be distracted by that. I cannot take advantage of that. Neither my P nor my H goes next to the eye. So am I sure I don't have an alternative bingo? There's the E and C of Ecotage to consider. Can't see anything through those. And there's also the T of Ecotage to consider. A bingo would begin one tile in front of the Ecotage floaters. So a play beginning ET or OT. Okay, I can't see anything there. Fantastic. Where's what's my, what's my opponent done? He's played cheese for only 15 points. And I have... Eno feel across here, which takes an ES and Y, but that's not, none of those are likely to be used. Eno Phil, 92 points. Perfect. And a pretty good pick up an S, E's, and the Z for score. I've now 60 points in the lead, my opponent's on turn, but the pendulum has swung in my favour where it belongs. Now, where can my Z play? Well, I haven't seen anywhere great for it. Again, I can't use the triple letter square next to the eye of Cheviot. Only 10 points for my opponent, and the bag is empty. I can see what my opponent's got. It's pretty good. But does he have a bingo that I need to block? So, Cheviot takes an S. Is there something beginning with an S? I don't think so. Brutals isn't good. So, I don't think there's a 7 there. What about... The float is in Ecotage. I think that's all I need to consider. There's the E. So, Rustable. Does that have an anagram? Rustable. It may do. What about the C? No. What about the T? No. So, I now have a 50-point lead. The only way I can lose, I think is if my opponent bingos. I could play Sez and Cheviots. I could play Metsies down here. Let me see what this scores. 38 points, pretty good. It takes out a couple of bingo lanes, row M and column 3. It doesn't create any new bingo lanes. So my opponent can only win if he bingos. Well, can he win even with a bingo? 38 points for Metsies is going to take me to 510. So I'll be 88 points ahead, 4 on count back. My opponent needs 84 to draw. Well, he may get that through the C. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a bingo through the C. Now, do I want to play Metsies? I'm providing a very easy spot for my opponent to score well in by putting his A next to the Z. I've got seven minutes left. I don't need to rush into this. And although I think Metsies is a winning play, having identified a winning play 
it's important to identify the best winning play to minimise my opponent's... Well, sorry, to maximise my spread. So what else can I do? Seven minutes left. I'm looking to play around Cheviot on Iguotage because I'm not 100% sure if my opponent has a bingo and if he does have one, that's where it'll play. He could also have a nine-letter play through the R of Carouse and the E of Iguotage. Well, I'm not going to spend my time looking for that. I'd much rather simply block it. So what about says across here? That's 40 points, which is actually more than Metsy's, and I'm retaining an E. So I've got an out now. If my opponent doesn't go out, I've got... Well, a greater ability to go out. But I can't see an immediate out. But I'm preferring says to Metsy's. Yeah, I think I'm going to to play this. Ah, the other bingo lane I haven't considered are uh, running running across from the O and T of Cheviots. Well, says blocks the T row. What about the O one? Out blars. I don't think there's a play there. So I'm going with this. I'm grateful that my opponent has not abandoned the game, which he may have done given his number of unfinished games is high. Now, what can I do with Melt? Metal in column two, not available. Five minutes on my clock. Oh, wow. That is pretty fabulous. That is good. Is it enough for my opponent to win? And it might be. It might be. Let me click pass to end the game. Wow, no, I've won. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What an amazing game. 508 to my opponent, 512 to me. A winning margin of four points. Incredibly tight. Let's see what I missed. Wow, I thought that was it. I thought a bingo might be enough. Fabulous spot by my opponent. Barulets. And interestingly, Metsy's would have would not have blocked him. Okay. But I think Metsy's would also have been winning. Okay, so back to the beginning of that game. This was my opponent's rat. He didn't have a bingo. He changed. And this was my rack. Ah, oh, well, yes, audio better than a Jew because AE is a much better rack leave than AO. Nice rack for my opponent. And he got the double double. This was my rack. I didn't find very much. Ecotarges and Ecotarge was what I saw. What I missed was Cousinage. But L8 Ecotarge is through the T, the highest scoring, but I preferred this placement. This was my opponent's rack. He got 12 points. And this was my rack. Wow, Rocky for 42. Where's that playing? K12. Down here, placing the Y on the double letter square. What did I do? Yok for 29. Well, Yok leaves a great rack leave, A-E-R-C, much better than A-E. Is it 13 points better? Probably quite close. And this was Mana from Heaven for my opponent, who had Taverna as a bingo, which was otherwise unplayable. Now, was Sarcode good? Yes, it was. Well, goodness knows why I... 
got the shakes about that. It is. It was fine. I, but I think if you have doubt about a bingo and there is another bingo which you're sure of, it's probably best to go with the one you're sure of. Now, this was my opponent's rack. What did he do? He played Wode for 36, which was great for me. It left Fix available for 50 points. Otherwise, I would have been in a difficult spot with this rack. This was my opponent's rack. He found Cheviot, which was a, a good find. This was my rack. I played Wimpy for 39. That looks best. And my opponent, he's got Tangelo, which he could play in column 14. What did he do? Well, he played Legation, which was better than Tangelo, and he could have played Octangle. So there goes Legation. This is my rack. And Leaf was a, a perfect play for me. That looks best. My opponent's rack, due for 56. So he was piling on the points, and here I had Surring for 81, and the only other bingo was re-rising at H3 through the E of Ecotage. Well, high probability, but difficult to see. Difficult to see anything when you've got Duplicate I and Duplicate R. This doesn't look promising, but Surring was there, and I found it. This was my opponent's rack. He played Cheese, and this is where the game the game turned because I was 32 points behind, and I pick up seven tiles and they make a bingo. So that was a dream pickup for me. And at this point, my opponent isn't out of it, but he is behind. This was his rack. He played BE. And there was only one tile in the bag after Eno fell, so my opponent had a, was in a difficult spot. Now, this is where I spent a long time, and I don't think I did the best thing. Well, having said that, Met Season says are the two possibilities that are being shown here, and neither of them blocks Barriolets. Met Seas would have been better because... Hmm, not sure, actually. They're... I think they're both winning plays, and I think there's only one or two points uh, between them, but it wouldn't be difficult to confirm that, but certainly says does the job. This was my opponent's rack. He has Barry Letts. Absolutely fabulous spot. And I thought that he had beaten me. But in fact, I scraped home by a pretty slender margin of just four points. So a really exciting game. Great bingos. Great play by my opponent. And overall, just um, really exciting. So I hope you enjoyed watching that and got something out of it. My name is David Webb, and this has been a video for DweeboVision.